photograph uh, objects that I've watched and looked at probably for 35 or 40 years. And I've done much of this material with black and white before and with other color film mediums, but uh, this is just a uh, new way of uh, sharing my interest around the country and the region with other people and viewers. And why this subject matter? These are, uh, well, for one thing, uh, these are eye-catching objects, these colorful buildings and signs and uh, structures, churches. And this camera has the ability to make very intense uh, photographs, intensely colored and sharp photographs in the small scale. And I like small scale work. I guess I'm actually, I'm a miniaturist. I like big pieces too. But uh, I've always felt like that's the way we see things out here, out on the flat uh, panhandle area in New Mexico of the High Plains. That, of course, extend clear to Canada. The Texas Panhandle is a large area, but it's also a, just a fraction of the High Plains that run through central United States. And, uh, so the, the miniature old, scale or the small scale yes, is... Yes, you see objects long, long before you get up close to them to examine them. And I've heard one, uh, one artist, a master artist, say that out on the prairies, every object is important, whether it's a single tree or a fence post, because your eyes tend to gravitate toward it and focus on it. Certainly, look down the road and see the next town, thanks to the grain elevators that stick up in the air. And uh, most of these little towns were placed close enough to provide water and to provide uh, transportation for a uh, certain sized area of uh, crop lands. And uh, of course, the railroads had sold the land to these people. And uh, to make customers for the railroads to haul grain and supplies and so. 